Acute leukemia is a highly aggressive blood cancer. There is an overproduction of immature white cell in the bone marrow that affect the normal production of blood cells. There are two main subtypes of acute leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia, AML, which is more common in adults, while acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, is more common in children. It can be fatal within three months if no appropriate treatment is given. So what causes acute leukemia? Genes that control the normal production of white cells are damaged, which leads to overproductions of immature white cells. This can happen when there has been previous exposure to radiation, chemotherapy, toxic agent, or as part of the normal aging process. There are also some pre-existing blood disorders such as MDS, which can lead to increased risk of acute leukemia. So, what are the common signs and symptoms of acute leukemia? These include bleeding manifestations such as bruising, prolonged gum bleeding, recurrent nosebleeds, fatigue or shortness of breath on mild exertion, recurrent fever, and lymph node swellings in the neck, armpits, or groin. So, what is the prognosis of acute leukemia? Contrary to the common belief, acute leukemia is actually a potentially curable cancer. The long-term cure rate could be in excess of 80%, especially in younger patients with good genetic risk. Even those with high-risk disease, the cure rate could be around 30 to 40% with allogenic stem cell transplant. Chemotherapy is still the mainstay of treatment for a newly diagnosed patient with acute leukemia. However, certain subtypes of leukemia may benefit from additional immunotherapy or targeted therapy. The aim of the treatment is to eradicate leukemia cells and restore normal function of bone marrow. Investigations are done to assess the severity of the disease and to plan our treatment. At CFCH, we tailor our treatment plan to optimize the outcome of our patients.